On this video, I'm going to be talking cruise versus all-inclusive, the pros and the cons. So I don't think there's a right or a wrong whether you're a cruiser or if you like all-inclusives. I feel like they're almost kind of two different beasts, but I did want to kind of give you the ins and outs, the good, the bad, the pros, the cons, everything you need to know about a cruise versus an all-inclusive. Since just a few months ago we went to an all-inclusive and now obviously we're on a cruise, I thought that would be the perfect time to compare our experiences with both since they've been so close together. I've been making some notes in my phone, kind of comparing when I would think of things while we've been on this cruise compared to the all-inclusive. Also, our friends Jason and Rebecca that are on here, they just a month ago went to an all-inclusive. So I got their thoughts on this as well. So when it comes to an all-inclusive versus a cruise, I feel like it depends on if you're wanting something that's maybe a little more laid back or do you want something a little more high energy? Because a cruise is definitely more that high energy thing that if you're, that's what you're looking for, you can constantly be on the move, constantly doing something, where all-inclusive, I feel, is a little bit more laid back. You get to hang around by the pool. If you do an adult only, it's definitely a lot quieter and just a little bit more laid back at an all-inclusive. While a cruise, is high energy, a lot going on. At the all-inclusive that we went to, they always had things going on. If you like a lot of activities, then a cruise is something because they have things going almost all the time. There's either shows, there's bingo, there's karaoke, there's all kinds of stuff. For an all-inclusive, they do have activities, but not quite to the extent of a cruise. Everybody like talked and chit chat. Maybe it's just because you have a little more time to do that, but everybody was friendly, courteous. People that were there vacationing were super nice. We made great friends. Now, on a cruise, the people are kind of rude. They only think of themselves a lot of the times. Now, I know this is not always the case, but we had just learned on the cruise, like people will cut you off, they'll jump in the line, they, they can walk in front of you and look back and see that you're walking behind them and that you're a little quicker than them and they just keep walking and blocking the whole thing so that you can't get past them. There's been a lot. I was walking on the track the other day and a guy pulled his chair out and put it out in front of me while I was walking on the track. He sat down right in the middle of the track in front of me and I almost, almost fell over it. Another thing, a cruise versus an all-inclusive, typically, and I know I guess it just depends on what all-inclusive you go to, I feel like an all-inclusive is more upscale. They wait on you more. It's, while a cruise, they do wait on you and stuff, but it's not to the level of the all-inclusive that we were at. At the all-inclusive, they were constantly trying to help us. We're on a cruise, there's so many more people and it's not a many people to help you so you could end up waiting you know 10 15 20 minutes for a drink especially up by the pool if you like hanging out by the pool i do not think that a cruise is for you because the pool has been just packed we have not gotten in the pool on this cruise not one time because there are so many people so i guess if you wanted to be shoulder to shoulder with somebody in the pool you could definitely go up there and do that but it's just not made a cruise is just not made for you to hang out by the pool. Now the all-inclusive has several massive pools. You can feel like you're alone in the pool and it's not like people are like pushing you and shoving you. You just kind of can have your own space because there's a lot more space per person that's there. Also, at an all-inclusive, if you don't want to be in the pool all day, you can go to the beach. So you have a choice between the pool and the beach where if you're on a cruise ship, you just have the top deck. I feel like it's easier to find a place to lay out at the all-inclusive versus here 
because you can walk here in circles for hours and try to find a seat, especially if maybe you have a larger party. You can find like one chair here, one chair there. It is very difficult to find a chair. Now, a good thing about a cruise is every day the scenery changes. So every morning when you wake up and look out, if you have a balcony, you see something new. So where an all-inclusive, where you're at is what you've got every day. So you do have a lot of flexibility of the moving around and seeing different places on a cruise. I feel like almost the cruise versus an all-inclusive, it could be almost the same price. I don't think, you know, while you can do all-inclusives that are very expensive, you can also do cruises that are very expensive. Now, the big thing is at an all-inclusive, everything is included. All your food, all your drinks, any place that you want to eat, all the specialty restaurants that you eat at are included in your price. On the cruise, you do have a lot of food options in a lot of different areas that you can eat that are included, but they have gotten where they started charging the specialty restaurants you have to pay extra for. So unless you're eating in the main dining room every night, you can't eat at a different place unless you want to pay for it. And on a cruise, your drinks are not included unless you want to buy the package. So you already have pay them for the cruise and then you have to add that on top of it if you want all your drinks included, which I am going to do a video talking about is the drink package worth it? And if you want to see something like that, you need to like and subscribe so that you'll get notified when I upload that new video. Now, on a cruise, there's a lot more walking around. Because on a cruise, there is a lot more walking because it seems like every time we go down, what we want to go to is up top. And if we're up top, what we want to go to is down. So be prepared if you're going on a cruise to walk a lot because it's definitely a lot of walking. Now, a big thing that's different between a cruise and an all-inclusive, if you get seasick, then all-inclusive might be your bed because you're when you go on a boat, you're definitely, this boat, for whatever reason, has been way more wavy <laughs> than some of the other boats. Now, another thing that you might like if you want to go all-inclusive, and I don't take this the wrong way, on a cruise ship, obviously, there's a lot of kids. If you want more peace and quiet, you can definitely do an all-inclusive that is adult only. Now, for me, I think on a cruise, the drinks are better. They put more thought and stuff into the drinks that they serve, where the all-inclusive, it's just pretty much about giving you something to drink. It's not, they don't craft a whole lot of drinks to be tailored. Now, that was the place that we were at. I don't know, but I like the drinks on the cruise way better than I like them at an all-inclusive. Another thing, the all-inclusive, the rooms are much bigger and nicer. Until next time, like and subscribe.